you would like to know how to make this, the easiest ice cream mixed with some honeycomb, then continue to watch the video. And while you're there, don't forget to click the subscribe button so you can receive my latest videos. Welcome back to Simon's Bacon Isolation Inspiration, where we don't take ourselves too seriously and we have fun while we bake. Right, let's crack on with a honeycomb ice cream. Right, today we're gonna make our own honeycomb. If, however, you think, I can't be bothered, you can get hold of some crunchies. And if mine doesn't work out just right, I'll be using these anyway. I'm gonna show you right now the ingredients and how to make honeycomb, then later on, I'll give you the ingredients and how to make ice cream. And if you missed all of that, don't worry, the ingredients will be in the description down below. Let's get on with it. Honeycomb, really easy. You need two tablespoons of bicarbonate of soda, or bicarb, or whatever you wanna call it. We need 200 grams of caster sugar, and this bad boy, we need five tablespoons of golden syrup. Just as a little side note, make sure you get a saucepan that's big enough, because when you whisk this bicarb in, it froths up, goes mental. So make sure it's high enough, otherwise you'll be cleaning your oven. A whisk, and line yourself a baking tin with just some loose parchment. Make sure you line it, because trust me, when this says it is a nightmare to get out, you have joined me over at my cooker. Make sure you've got all the ingredients to hand. So you've got your saucepan here, your bowl here, and all your ingredients, because this is gonna be quick. Right, the first thing you wanna do is lightly oil your tablespoon, because trust me, golden syrup sticks to this, and it is a nightmare to get off. So make sure you just give it a light oil. Now it's time to go in your saucepan with five tablespoons of golden syrup. Babe, I absolutely love golden syrup. Honestly, I could drink it straight from the bottle. Ew, what are you doing? Babe, I've had too much sugar. It was a terrible idea drinking that golden syrup. I was so sick. Oh, that golden syrup was lush. Just what I needed. Let's get on with this honeycomb. Come on. Next off, get your sugar and whop it straight in. Now, get your gas on really low and let this bubble away. Right, now you need to keep an eye on this because trust me, it will burn so quick. You've got to let the sugar melt into the golden syrup and then just leave it to bubble a little bit until it becomes nice and golden. As you can see, the sugar has sort of melted into the golden syrup, but you can feel it's really grainy. You gotta to wanna to let this get to like a real liquidy sort of consistency. So basically, at the moment, we've made ourselves a caramel. It does not take long to get to this stage, but keep going because you want it to be fizzing all over. Right, when it gets to this stage, and it's just starting to turn a different color now, you go in with your bicarb, and you've got to be quick here. Get your whisk and whisk it up. And as you can see, it goes absolutely berserk. Once you've got it incorporated, tip it straight in to your baking tray. Right kids, do not put your fingers into this, however tempting it is. This is seriously hot and it will literally melt your fingers off. Right, now we need to let that cool down completely before we can use it. And it makes it go rock hard as well. In the meantime though, make sure that you wash your pans up straight away because it goes rock hard and it is a nightmare to get off your pans. Now while that's cooling, let's crack on with the ice cream. Now some people, they run around, oh my god, ice cream, it must be so hard to make. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make. Ingredients wise, start with 500ml of milk, full fat milk. 250ml of double cream, 150 grams of golden caster sugar. If you don't have golden caster, just use normal caster. It doesn't matter. A little bit of vanilla extract. Well, if you've got fresh vanilla, you know, the seeds and the pods, you need two of them. And lastly, seven chicky eggs. Let's crack on. First of all, you want to separate the whites from the yolks. And the way you do that, give it a little tap on the table. You want two bowls of this. Split your egg in half. 
And what you do is you pass the yolk from one egg to the other. Right, that was the fancy way of showing you how to do it. This is how I like to do it. Get your egg, give it a little crack, take the top off, get your hand, and pop it in. And just let the whites fall straight through. Mucky. There we have it. Seven egg yolks in a bowl. It doesn't matter if one or two split because we're only going to whisk it up anyway. Remove your egg whites. Don't just throw them away. These are really useful. You can either pop them in the fridge, put them in a sandwich bag, chuck it in the freezer, pull it out. You can make meringues with it or any other recipe that requires egg whites. Boom, they're there. Right, now in with your yolks. Get your golden caster sugar or normal caster, whatever, and pop it straight in. Now with a whisk, whisk it together until it's all incorporated and it's nicely whisked together. The consistency you're looking for, it's gone more paler and it's more of like a, a ribbony sort of effect. Pop that aside one sec and come with me over to the cooker. Right, and now it's time to get the creamy part sorted out. So get your milk into a big, big jug because this makes quite a lot. Milk goes in. Next of all, get your cream. Cream goes in. And lastly, get your vanilla extract and just put a splish in. Splish. Perfect. Now you want to get the heat on to really low and keep an eye on it. You want it just before it starts to boil. Now this is what you're looking for. It's just starting to bubble and you get this lovely little steam coming off. Now the temptation with this is to whack the heat up really fast to get it cooking as quick as possible. It takes about 10 minutes to do this on a low temperature, so just be patient. Now comes probably the most complicated part. You want to get your boxing glove on, ush, ush, and you might want your mum and dad to help you or someone else, because what you want to do is pour the milk in very gradually and stir at the same time. But because I'm Mr. Muscle, I'm going to do it on my own. So this is what you want. You want to whisk and pour just a little bit of milk in at a time. If you dump the whole lot in, it will cook the eggs, and you'll end up with scrambled eggs in the end. And this is what you're looking for. It's liquid, and it hasn't gone like scrambled egg. Now what you want to do is get this back into the pan and get it heated up to make it into like a really thick custard. Right, so back in it goes. Now it's back. In the saucepan, it's time to put it on a really low heat and gradually stir it until it goes nice and thick. Right, I have been continuously stirring this for about 10 minutes now, and as you can see, it's gone a lot more thick. If you get a spoon, pop it in, you see, it coats the back of it, and that is what you're looking for. That is perfect. Right, now we've got it's time to put the custard, the ice cream, into a container which is heat proof and also freezer proof. So make sure you've got one. So make sure you get your boxing gloves on, ish, ish, and just pour it straight in. And there we go. Now I've had a little cheeky taste of this, and if you're gonna taste it, make sure you blow on the spoon, because trust me, this is really hot, and it tastes like amazing vanilla ice cream. But we're not making vanilla ice cream, we're making honeycomb ice cream. And I'm about to show you what to do. Here's our honeycomb back, and as you can see, it has gone rock hard. Now kids, this is the reason why we line the tin. See how easy it is to pull out and how easy it is to get off the paper. Right, and here we are with the honeycomb. It's now time to put some bits of this into this hot mixture. And what it will do is it will melt it and then that will give it its honeycomb, golden syrupy sort of flavouring. And what we're going to do is keep some for later on that we're going to stir through it when it's more of an ice cream consistency. So what you do when you break up honeycomb, you get it out, and this is where you practice your karate. So you want to build up your chi, and then... Ah! Now this is all broken up, while the ice cream is still hot, get some chunks and just sprinkle them all in. This will melt and it will give you the nice honeycomb flavour, really. And then later on, we're going to get these bigger bits and whisk it through the ice cream so you have a nice chunk to bite into. Now, with your spatula, just mix it in. And as you can see, 
it's already starting to melt and you've got these little swirls in there and that's what you're looking for and this gives it the honeycomb flavor real question is how much honeycomb should you put in well personally i always believe more is better and at the end of the day you're making honeycomb ice cream so you want to be able to taste that golden syrup now at this stage if you don't want to make your own honeycomb get your crunchies bash them up as many crunches as you want and tip some in at this point and that will melt it and then save some for later on now you've got as much honeycomb in there as you want. It's time to get this in the freezer. Now what you do, is you pop a lid on it, get it into your freezer, then every hour take it out and run a fork for it. Because what will happen is, ice will build on top of it and you just put that into the ice cream. If you left it, it will just be really thick and it will just be real bleh, and it's not really ice creamy, is it? An hour has passed and I'm gonna give it a little whisk up. So get a fork, now just go round and give it a nice little uh, stir up. Get, make sure you're getting all the edges. Easy as that. So here we are, hour two now. Have a look. It's still a little bit, but it's getting thicker. And as you can see on the sides, it's starting to turn into ice cream. That's all right. It will go eventually. Let's give it a little mash up. Right, this has been three hours, and as you can see, it's starting to uh, freeze up. So just get your fork, smash through it, get it all mixed in. Right, it's been four hours, and it's nearly set. So, but this is a good time to start going in with your large honeycomb pieces. If you put them in too soon, the mixture wouldn't take it, and it would just dissolve again. So. Get your leftover honeycomb. Now, a top tip, if your honeycomb's a little bit like when you bite into it, it's a little bit chewy, pop it in the fridge and it crump, it just makes it go really crunchy. So, get your honeycomb. I just chuck some big bits in. Doesn't really matter. And then literally just fold your ice cream over the top of it all. Don't have to be too neat. And that's ready to go back in the freezer for however long you want until it's nice and firm and you can make nice ice cream. Look at that babe. You've even got some leftover for the toppings. Or as the Americans call it, garnish. Can you flavour your ice cream with anything? Yes. Absolutely, of course you can. You can go in with Snickers, Bounty Bars, Milky Way, sausages, whatever tickles your pickle. What you got to remember is you add half of the flavourings into the custard when it's really hot, that way it melts and gives it its flavouring, and then you add the other half later on when it's three to four hours during the freezing process, so it gives you a nice bite. And if you really want to have sausage ice cream, you want your head looking at. And here we have it. Six hours it's been in the freezer for. So if you want to make this, make sure you do it early. That way, it will definitely be ready for you to eat at night. Now let's get a scoop out. Now a little trick here, get a cup of water, and you can use a spoon, is that the same? And just get your scoop wet before you scoop. And get it in. And it just helps glide along. Have a look at that. Beautiful. And there we have it. Three scoops of ice cream, perfect amount. Now it's time for a taste test. But first, get a fancy plate and get a little bit of the honeycomb garnish. And just place it on top. It just makes it look real fancy. And Michelin star, that don't look bad, does it? <laughs> now let's delve in. Oh, I'm a master. Thank you so much for taking the time out and watching my videos. If you've enjoyed it and you want to see more, click my face right here to subscribe to me. And while you're at it, click here to see all my other videos. Thank you very much.